guys, it's Lady T and welcome back to the channel. So let's talk about Amazon. Last year, only a third of Amazon new hires stayed with the company for more than 90 days before quitting, being fired, or getting laid off. According to leaked documents obtained by Engadget, the report is the largest indication that Amazon is having some serious issues retaining employees. And it is revealed that the company estimated that its attrition rate costs is almost $8 billion a year across its global consumer field operations team. But are we really surprised by that? The report, which is based off internal research paper, slide docs, and spreadsheet from Amazon, claim that their workers are twice as likely to leave by choice rather than because they was laid off or fired. It is also said that the issue is widespread throughout the company, not just with warehouse workers from entry level roles all the way up to vice presidents. The lowest attrition rate for one of the company's 10 tiers of employees was almost 70% with the highest reaching a staggering 81.3%. The report doesn't specify what class of employees have the highest attention rate, but it's well known that Amazon Warehouse and other fulfillment facilities have more turnover rates than the rest of the industry. According to a report from the New York Times, around 3% of the company's hourly employees left each week and leak internal memos attained by Record show that the company is worried about literally running out of people who's willing to work for it within the next few years and even sooner in some areas. But while some Amazon workers have been making it very obvious why people don't necessarily want to stay in their roles, engagement notes that managers are also leaving thanks to issues with development and promotion or otherwise advancing their career at Amazon. Some of this may comes down to training programs the company provides, which are reportedly important for moving up Amazon, but are seemingly run in a disorganized and potential wasteful manner, according to the document cited by the report. While Amazon definitely seemed to have issues with people leaving, it also faced criticism for how it managed layoffs as well. Now, last year, reports noted that Amazon's goal is to filter out the bottom 6% of its employees and that it didn't necessarily let the employees who were at risk of losing their job know so that they can actively work on improving their performance. In the past, there have also been concerned about the role of automation in the company's process for tracking warehouse employees' performance and firing them if they failed to meet up with the company demanding standards. I think Bezos wanted to create a work environment of distrust, competition, a fear, because he thinks that makes people work harder. You know, most people who take jobs at Amazon is because of money until they can find something better, something better can come through. And also because of experience, just a slap on their resume or the application. You know, most companies are so greedy that they encourage the poor morale, organized chaos and so forth because many don't want to fairly compensate employees near investing their talent. Amazon advertised these falsehoods about wonderful benefits, flexible schedules, and more, only to make it impossible to attain those things. They work you like crazy and treat you horrible and expect people to stay. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's continue the conversation down below in the comments. Make sure to like the video and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss an upload. I'm Lady T. I'll catch you the next time. Be blessed. Bye.